What up guys, today we're gonna to be looking into a granulizer plugin synthesizer called Quanta. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions of it. Let's get into it. All right, so this is Quanta. So Quanta is a grant, like I was saying, is a granulizer synthesizer. So whenever you first boot it up, this oscillator is gonna be at 100%. I don't wanna, I don't wanna create any additional sounds with this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that all the way down. Turn up the volume knob, turn up the output. Quanta does run a little, little bit quiet. So just bring, bring those all the way up just so I can just get max amount of juice and if need be, bring down. So I'm gonna go and drag in a sample so I can go and demonstrate this plugin to you guys. I'm gonna start off with just a full track we made previously on this channel. So if I hit play on here, it'll play the sample that I just dragged in. Unplay by clicking again. You can delete the sample by hitting X, or you can load in a completely new sample by hitting this little floppy disk. So this right here, this changes the shape of the grains. It's kind of like a little volume automation a little bit. So I like the rounded sign. You have different ones like triangle, like trapezoid, square, ramp up, ramp down, just kind of just different shapes that you can do. So if I was to hit play on here, you can hear, just changing the way that it's looping those grains. I feel like the less clickish is this shape. This, I think it's called a rounded sign. So I just double click to reset everything. See if you go, you can drag this little position knob, which essentially it animates everything up here showing you where it's put the position of the grains are. And then if I drag this rand, it's called the, is the randomizer knob. Each of these different knobs have that just to kind of give more life to the sample of what it's granulating. You can also drag the position up here, a little bit more hands-on with it. You change the length of the grains from right now it's default to 150, I believe it's 150 milliseconds, all the way up to a full second. Double click, reset, bring that up a little bit. So I can increase the number of grains as well. All the way up to 100 grains, one to 100. I'm gonna have this around like, maybe like 22, randomize it a little bit. There's a tune knob, bring that up about, you can change that from full 2400, um, which is two octaves all the way down. Randomize that as well if you like. And there's a fine tune knob, which is just brings up a full semitone. A width control knob. So it's right now it's pan or it's stereoizing about 50%. You know, full stereo. I need some good headphones to really tell. Or you can go full mono. Double click. So it has an oscillator in and noise in. So you can see the oscillator and noise uh, channels right here. So right now the oscillator is set to a square wave. So I can bring in that square wave into the grains channel and also the noise. It's default, the noise is default to a kind of like a down sample kind of noise. And you can kind of bring this up to get a little bit of a cleaner white noise. Turn it off. Two, you get two filters with this. Um, one, right now they're both off. You can turn them both on. You can see kind of, you can control just based off of this, what they're doing. Right now they're running serial. So it's serial just meaning filter one and then the sound is going into filter one and then that sound is going from filter one, filter two and out. Or you can go parallel, both the sound is running in filter one and filter two at the same time and then going out. I'll turn these both off. It's getting a little crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and change up the sample. A little bit of violin. You control the different parameters via the matrix. So you have a flex with the FLFO, which is a flexible low frequency oscillator and then you have the feg which is kind of like an adsr envelope but they call it their flexible envelope generator you can double click the breakpoints to delete and recreate so i can control these different parameters via the matrix so if you because you can get really lost in this whole grand scheme so if i click on the position it'll actually bring me to the position it just lights it up so if i was to click there boom Boom, it lights it up so you can find it really quick. We'll go ahead and control the position knob with the FLFO 1. So if I come here, it's moving really quick. And slow it down. And you can hear it, that happening in real time. 
turn off sync or you can turn back on sync to kind of sync it with your track. So yeah, so that is Quanta. That's just a little bit of my first impressions. I've had the plugin for about a week, not sponsored by audio damage or any, anything like that. I just really enjoyed the plugin that they, they put out and just wanted to give my first impressions of it, like always. What would you guys make with this plugin if you guys had it or with these sounds that you guys heard? Let me know in the comments below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Check that notification bell so you guys can keep up to date with all my content I drop every week. I see you guys next week. Later.